All right, PB. <clears throat> I was thinking earlier, PB and J. Peanut butter and Jesus. So dormant seeds was a subject recently and looking at Acts chapter two, uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine and he said the Holy Spirit had spoke to him and said, hey, I've had dormant seeds for millennia. And whenever I look at Acts chapter two and the, this generation, this last generation that Acts talks about, that's a dormant seed. You know, reason being that's a dormant seed is because there is favor on this last generation that has never been on the generation before. And while each generation in the past has grown and needed more favor, more grace, this one, it's almost like it's a double grace or a triple grace or something. Don't know exactly. I mean, we can say we can look in Acts chapter 2 and see some of the, the things that are coming and say that, hey, that's the favor of God right there. Well, and it's not just the younger generation. It's every generation in that generation. See, there were forerunners. You look at Elijah was a forerunner to Elijah. Uh, let's see, uh, John the Baptist, he was a forerunner to Jesus coming. And this last generation, it's a forerunner to Jesus coming or to the rapture of the church, let's say that. Or the first rapture, at least, because <laughs> there's actually another one during the seven-year tribulation. But this last generation in Acts that Acts talks about, it's a dormant seed. And I believe we've already started seeing it. I believe we started seeing it back in 1948. It's a dormant seed. And it's got favor on it that no other generations had. So that is a forewarning of what's coming or what we're in. I'll be honest with you. I was at church the other night and was thinking about it and I was like, I'm starting to run out of visions that the Lord showed me because they're all starting to come to pass. And things that had been sitting dormant for 20 years, boom, came. And they're still, I, think, I believe they're, they're still coming. Amen. Not just one thing, but there's several other things that I'm starting to see. But, but anyway, Dormant seeds, Acts 2 generation, uh, you know, the whole, it's got that favor on it that no other generations had on it before. So, but listen, these are good times. God's blessed you and favored you in this time that you are in. You understand you are here for a reason. God put you here at this time, during this time. He didn't put Smith Wigglesworth there in this time. He didn't put Evan Roberts there in this time. He even didn't put Billy Graham, even though Billy Graham recently passed away in the last few years, you know. Uh, Billy Graham's gone home. So you are here for this time. You are here because God's called you to grow and to reach. Amen. So look, be encouraged. Be blessed. Amen.